Right, so hello and welcome back to another 90 Day Fiancé video on Arthur TV. Today, we're back for part four of Big Ed and his Filipina girlfriend, Rose. So last time out, Big Ed had some family bonding time with Rose's dad before the couple went off to the island of Palawan. With thoughts of an engagement ring on the horizon, Ed was hoping that the trip would help him figure out if Rose truly loves him. But the trip got off to a terrible start when Ed decided to confront Rose on her bad breath, which she revealed to be caused by an ulcer. Embarrassed and upset, Rose stormed off, calling Ed ugly. The day, however, is still young, and Ed is once again on the road to redemption. Coming up, Ed has two very special dates planned, and he's hoping that he can finally spend some quality alone time with Rose. Oh. My. God. This is paradise. Yeah. Let's go find the boat, come on. I screwed up this morning. I told Rose that she has really bad breath. Like, really bad breath. That's such an unnecessary reinforcement. I can't believe Rooney on the first clip and Ed is already back to embarrassing Rose. I'm not even surprised anymore. My intention was not to insult her, but she got very upset. So I have to make it up to Rose and to make her feel so special that she'll forgive me. So I planned a really fun day. Ed embarrassed me this morning. So I feel not good, I feel small. Hi, how are you? 48. But I want to give Ed another chance to change his behavior. No more rude person. Ouch. Oh, sorry. Did I smack you? Ah. Well, that's another weird rose noise for the compilation. Ah. You know when you start to dislike someone and everything they do starts to annoy you? A little whack like that can make your blood boil. I actually wouldn't be surprised if Rose just flipped out Ed one day. Today I planned a small excursion to a little island where there's a national park and we're gonna look at really cute monkeys. I'm really excited. I'm excited, here we are. You know, whenever these two walk together, it looks like Rose is looking after her little brother. It kind of looks like Russell from Up got lost in the woods and an older Girl Scout is helping him find his way back. Oh my God. Here, there's... monkey. Here, oh. monkey. There's a little monkey. Hi, little buddy. There's another monkey over there. Oh, oh. What the hell? <laughs> Oh my God. These weren't the cute monkeys that I was expecting. Well, you're probably not the cute human the monkeys are expecting. Also, I love how he's absolutely terrified. And once again, Rose is getting so much enjoyment from it. I was joking about the Russell thing, but he actually behaves like such a five-year-old sometimes. First, I was kind of excited, but then I realized that we were surrounded by probably 10 or 15 monkeys staring at us, staring at me. Hi. Rose didn't seem to be affected by it at all, but I was, I would my pants. Monkey. He want the food. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What the He just took my banana. <laughs> I like monkey, I love monkey. He grabbed my banana. He jumped on my back and grabbed my banana. What kind of divvy walks into a monkey park with a banana hanging out the back of their bag and is then surprised when a monkey grabs it? I'm terrified. I'm worried about getting bit or, or scratched. I don't like the monkeys anymore. I don't like them. Okay, let's go. I want, I want off this, this trail. I want to go back to the hotel, take a shower, and go to a nice romantic dinner. Oh my God. Wow. The restaurant killed it. You know, this is a really nice scene, but after the way the monkey date went, I'm beginning to think Ed just can't enjoy things. Like on their day of shopping, he was complaining about her taking money out of his wallet. At her home, he was complaining about the windows. In the shower, he was complaining about the rats. Last night, he was complaining about her breath. And then today he was scared of the monkeys and didn't enjoy that either. I feel like every time something nice happens now, Ed is just inevitably gonna ruin it. I just wanna take this in right now. Just be no, with you. I didn't even tell you how beautiful you look tonight. Thank you. You be beauty, I'll be the beast. Be the beast. Finally, some refreshing honesty from Ed. I feel happy. I feel love. 
because we're bonding to each other. I want uh, Ed part of my life. Cheers. So I wish that he proposed to me uh, this night. You know, in the last video, I said that I was surprised how quickly he was moving. With Rose, I'm not surprised at all. I bet she was lying there in bed on the first night, like, bloody hell, this guy needs to hurry up. This green card cannot come fast enough. Probably said the same thing about Ed as well. So what do you think? You're happy? Yes, of course. Well, I'm happy too, so. So let me do what I always do and absolutely ruin it. The main reason why I wanted to come here with you was for us to really understand our, our feelings. What do you want? I want someone that loves me, that won't ever leave me, that respects me. Do you want that with me? I love how I don't even have to add cricket noises to the background because they're already there. This is so awkward. No. This is such classic Ed. I mean, he could have just said yes and that he needs to speak about a few things, but instead he decides to cast out over the entire relationship. Smooth as always. I mean, I think so, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Why not 100%? Because I, because I, can I explain after dinner? Can we eat first and I'll explain? Oh, thank you. What actually goes through this man's head? That would be the most awkward dinner date of all time. Imagine how anxious Rose would be as well. Her mind would be racing like crazy. He just drops a bombshell like that and then as soon as the food comes, he just smiles at his plate. He's such an odd human. I want you to tell me now. Okay, so when I was in San Diego, your sister Maria asked me for money, for help, but also asked me not to tell you. Did you know about that? I mean, it's a completely valid concern. It's just a terrible way of airing it. Either way, I'm so glad they're finally addressing it because I'm so sick of hearing about it in every single video. I don't know. You don't know anything about that? No. Do you think I not love you because I love your money? I, I don't want to think that, but why did Maria tell me not to tell you? You think I'm involved to my sister? I don't know. You know what's funny about all this? With the amount of tension and the amount of drama it's caused and the number of times that Ed's brought it up, you've got to be thinking like she must have scammed him out of at least a few thousand dollars. Do you know how much it actually was? It was $75. How ridiculous is that? It's so weird. Like maybe it was genuine and maybe it helped her shop, but worst case scenario, she didn't really need the $75. But if everything goes the way he wants it to go, she's going to end up his sister-in-law anyway. Compared with the hundreds, if not thousands that he spent on flying to the Philippines, taking Rose out on dates and renting hotel rooms, what is an extra $75 really? I mean, don't get me wrong, it would obviously be wrong and it was definitely worth bringing up, but this whole thing has been blown so out of proportion it's not funny. I mean, it just genuinely wasn't worth ruining a nice date night for. I hurt because I think you're not to see my love. I hurt so much because you think like my, I like my, like my sister who want you a money not with love. But I don't want the money. Smart for Rose, technically not lying if you just don't mention the green card. I wasn't sure if you were involved, but you're telling me you're, you're not. Yeah, I know. Okay, I believe you. Okay, I believe you. Really? Your sister made me doubt you, but no more. With uh, both the honeys, the relationship is good. Yes. He's like, oh god, where's this going? Anything you want to own up to, Ed? Cheating on your past wife, maybe? Or wanting a vasectomy? So, what do you want out of this relationship? Our relationship is, I know uh, it is not a perfect, but I think both us want uh, being a build and strong family with my son and with two babies with you. I love the little look she gives him there. I actually have a sneaking suspicion she already knows about the vasectomy. This is the face of a man who knows he's in trouble. Oh my God, here I'm thinking we're in a good place and now she brings up having more children. But I've been planning on getting a vasectomy and I don't, 
know how to tell her. I love you. Love you. I love you. I don't want more kids. I'm not sure how she's going to feel about that. I'm freaking out again. I love you. No doubt. Oh god, the drama never ends between these two, does it? You know, since this episode aired, there have been so many rumours going around, with Rose accusing Ed of just being in it for the fame, rumours of the couple splitting, and even a potential lawsuit in the works. It's hard to tell what's really going on, because no one can confirm anything until the series is over. But either way, it looks like it's going to be an explosive season finale, and we're going to be covering every last detail in chronological order right here on this channel. So if you want to find out what happens next and see the full story, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. As always, in between uploads, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch so links to that along with links to my Instagram and Twitter will be down below. Feel free to drop me a follow or just pop in to say hi. Until then thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.